subscribe to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. As you can see, the baby is behind me. I've got to give her a name. I haven't even named her yet. Um, I have no idea what to name her. As you know, my last car was named, had actually two names, Evil Killer, AKA Black Beauty. So I don't know what to call this one. I'm thinking something to represent the most craziest thing that's going on with this car right now is the duct tape on the back window so I'm thinking maybe we call it uh, duck <laughs> I don't know if you guys have an idea of a name let me know but I'm going to talk about five things with the Beamer that I absolutely love and then I'm going to do a video with well we'll do it the other way around let's do five things that I don't like about the car first and then we'll do five things I love about the car all right we'll do that <laughs> so five things that I don't like about my Beamer number one and this in general I should you know just kind of clarify and say that this some of the things on my list is basically pertaining to this car <laughs> not every Beamer that I ever had um, and then some things will be specific to uh, Beamers in general, like the Beamer uh, E36 particularly. So starting out with one of the things I really, really don't like about this car is the cooling issues that are so famous with the Beamer E36. I can't specify how stressful it is thinking always like, geez, I hope you know my car is fine if I go on a drive or something because you're always worried about that overheating thing so that's gonna be one of the first things we actually fix on here is we're going to change the plastic uh, parts that are in here for the cooling system that have a reputation for failing and causing really bad things to happen to your entire engine because if you know obviously when your cooling system is having issues um, it can affect your whole engine. You could literally lose your whole engine. So that's something we're going to be tackling. New radiator, um, new water pump, uh, new fan. We're going to get everything with metal, um, you know, or, you know, anything other than plastic, whatever is out there. Okay, so that is one of the things I really, that would be my number one thing because overheating is a big issue. And if your car is overheating, you've got problems. Number two on my list would be these stupid freaking panels. These door cards right here. Guys, these freaking door cards, the trim on these stupid cars always come off. On Beamer E36s, it is a famous issue and this car is no different. It's missing this whole part here. On this side, you can see also the it's become unglued at the bottoms and stuff and the same on that side and the little plastic that goes on here all these bits and pieces like his famous thing and also the seats I don't know what leather they're using but they tend to rip pretty easily I don't know like if they're even using real leather or what the steering wheel even look at that so just the quality I don't know if to call it the quality or what but whatever they do with their door trims this leather in the seats all that stuff look at the, look at the look at that look at the freaking uh glove compartment there like so yeah that is something i really don't like that is on my list big time and number three on my list which this may not particularly be the third thing but it is definitely in the top three i think those three things because this one i'm about to tell you now is a huge one as well is on these convertibles everyone's soft top doesn't work i don't know what's going on every single soft top from this era doesn't work i don't know what it is they they don't work plus this one has the added benefit of the back window here being completely just cracked and held on with duct tape and stuff so the soft top and it not working and the duct tape holding on the cracks in the windows, that is my number three. But argument that could be a number one as well because it's just annoying as hell to not have a working convertible. It doesn't even make sense, it's not even logical. So that's number three. Number four, what would we say about number four? Uh, 
Number four is, I, I really don't like this. I think this is the ugliest thing on the planet. Why, Beamer? Why, 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 why? This is an eyesore, and that is gonna be one of the things that we change really soon as well, because I think that is so unsexy. It is just crazily, absolutely super unsexy, and that has to go. <laughs> and if I could choose a fifth thing, which, it's kind of hard after you get through those three main things that I said finding a fifth thing is kind of hard because Overall, I love this car. You know, it's a super sexy car and it's just timeless the way it looks and It is a real eye-catcher even now all these years later. This car is such an eye-catcher I just love this car. So if I was gonna choose a fifth thing That I just like about this car would definitely oh wait. No, I've got okay. That's can I have six things? Because I just thought of something else that is actually a really annoying thing about this particular car, which is urgently going to get changed as well, is that it's auto. Guys, I freaking, I do not like auto. I do not like automatic. I really do not like automatic. And then you go and say, well, why did you get an automatic? Well, these cars are becoming really, really hard to find. And the convertible model in particular, and also finding one that is manual is super even more hard these days so it was easier for me to get this one which as you guys know if you i don't know if you'll see that video yet by the time you watch this maybe you will maybe you haven't but long story short i got such a really good deal on this one that it made sense to get this one and then just swap it to manual so that's something i really don't like so the last thing that i want to say on my list i know it's going to be five things but i've got to say this other thing is the wheels i don't like these wheels <laughs> these wheels are 16s and they're ugly <laughs> there's just no redeeming quality plus someone has either taken or it's just worn off i don't know but it's missing the bmw emblems on them at least if it had that <laughs> it, it, you could at least say hey they're beamer wheels you know but those are ugly, dude. Those are horrible. So that would be my other thing. So there you go, guys. Technically five, well, six things that I dislike about the car. Um, and, but that being said, don't get it twisted. This is one of the best cars around. And this particular car here was one of my dream cars. So I gotta tell you, I really love this car with all of its little quirks and things that I dislike. I love it. So. Just want to make that clear if you come across one of these and it's a good example you should definitely grab one because these are only going to go up in value it is considered a classic now so anyways i'm in this video here as always remember we're showing to the fullest and to keep it off tap we are out